This lecture is for RSET first year students and not for any commercial purpose. Welcome to the RSET online lecture for the course Basics of Electrical and Electronics Engineering EST 130. I am Purnima S, Assistant Professor of the Department of Applied Electronics and Instrumentation, Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology. The topic for today's presentation is evolution of communication systems starting from telegraphy to 5G. Here's an overview of the presentation. First, I'll introduce, to, introduce you to what is telegraphy, electrical telegraph, radio telegraph, then I'll introduce you to 1G communication systems followed by 2G, 3G, beyond 3G, 4G and 5G communication systems. Telegraphy. Telegraphy is a method of transmission of text messages over long distances. We use a device called telegraph for transmitting and receiving messages over long distances using coded signals. The electrical telegraph. It uses electric current for transmitting messages through wires over long distances. In 1844, Samuel F. B. Morse transmitted the message What hath God wrote from Washington to Baltimore using Morse code. It means what wonder has God done? The Morse code uses dots and dashes to denote letters and numbers. Here's a picture of Samuel Morse and his Morse telegraph. The coded signal is sent electrically through wires, which is received as marks on a piece of paper. A telegraph interpreter then translates them back to English. So if the translator is not good enough, imagine what might happen. The message may turn to something else altogether. Next is the radio telegraphy or the wireless telegraphy. Here the messages were transmitted through air as radio waves. The first practical radio telegraph was invented by G. Marconi during 1894 to 1895. This method became very popular during World War I. Imagine the plight of countries which were not equipped with radio telegraph. They were attacked by enemies by cutting the underwater electrical telegraph lines. In 1901, Marconi transmitted the first radio message across the Atlantic. You can read more about this story by clicking the link given below. Here's a picture of Marconi with his first long distance transmission apparatus. Other inventions. During the mid-19th century, telephones became very popular. It was Alexander Graham Bell who invented the first telephone in 1876. Later, in 1970s, Martin Cooper, an engineer at Motorola, invented the first generation mobile phone. This invention kick-started the evolution of various generations of modern communication systems. The first generation communication was also known as 1G communication systems. In 1G communication systems, the voice could be sent as analog signals using electromagnetic waves. The world's first commercial wireless cellular system was launched in 1979 by Nippon Telephone and Telegraph Company NTT in Japan. The AMPS or Advanced Mobile Phone Service was the first successful US mobile phone system deployed in Chicago in 1983. The advantages of 1G communication system is that it overcomes the problems of wired communication that is restricted movement and usage of more wires. However, it has many disadvantages also. It is poor voice quality due to the interferences occurring while passing through air like absorption, scattering, etc. It has limited battery life. The size of the mobile phones are large in order to accommodate the battery and other electronics. It can support only limited users and has only limited coverage since it uses lower frequency band. 
Meanwhile, the invention of the internet was also on the way. In 1969, the first internet prototype was invented by the US research agency ARPANET which allowed the communication among computers on a single network. This network later expanded to a network of networks which later became the modern internet which we are using today. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web or WWW which enables us to access content from different websites. The history of the WWW or the web is an interesting story which you can access from the following URL. In 1990s, the second generation systems or the 2G communication systems was developed. The 2G was based on two digital technologies, Global System for Mobile, GSM, and Core Division Multiple Access or CDMA. In 2G, the voice could be sent in digital format, that is, in the form of ones and zeros. The world of SMS and MMS became possible in 2G communication systems. It supports data rates or speeds of the order of 10 kbps to 30 mbps. In the picture, you can see a typical 2G mobile handset. The 2.5G system or the second and a half generation system is an improved version of 2G system. It supports speeds of 57 kbps to 100 kbps. In 2.5G, we are able to browse the web, send and receive emails in addition to the services offered by 2G. This became possible due to the in introduction of GPRS and the edge technologies which can support high data rates. The advantages of 2G and 2.5G. It has high ba battery life and improved security features sin since it uses Digital signals, they are less prone to noise, but it has still some disadvantages. The data rate is still not high enough to send high quality audio and video, and it supports less number of users because it has low spectrum band. The third generation systems or the 3G systems was introduced in the early 2000s. It uses Wideband CDMA technology to achieve higher speeds. The WCDMA allows many users to share a larger spectrum band. Therefore, it can support speeds in the range of 150 kbps to 2 mbps. The picture also shows some commonly used 3G mobile phones. The 3G can support many high speed services like video conferencing, GPS location services, video streaming, video calling, video downloading, etc. The 3.5G system is an enhanced version of 3G and it can support 3G services with enhanced speed. The 3.5G uses technologies such as high speed uplink or downlink packet access also called HSUPA or HSDPA systems. The 3.9G system is an enhanced version of the 3.5G system. It uses long-term evolution technology to enhance the capacity and speed. Here, multiple antennas are used to improve the data rate. This technology was considered as a transition towards 5G technology. Hence, the cell phone operators marketed is just 4G LTE system. The fourth generation of 4G communication system. It supports seamless connectivity among users and supports advanced services like high speed picture audio video transfer services, high definition TV services and high speed gaming services. The 4G systems use the LT Advanced and WiMAX 2 technologies. It supports hundreds of megabits of data rate. This slide gives you a summary of the different generations starting from 1G to 4G systems. This picture gives you an idea of the speed comparison among various generations. Suppose if you want to download a 8GB HD movie, 
It takes 70 minutes to download if you are using a 3G device, 7 minutes if you are using a 4G device and just 6 seconds if you are using a 5G technology. So this is the level of speed we are aiming for in 5G technologies. Now let me give you what are the major goals or vision predicted for the 5G technology. The 5G aims to support 10,000 times more data access, 10,000 times more devices, up to 10 Gbps speed, support more applications, it aims to flatten or reduce the energy consumption and it tries to reduce the delay to of the order of milliseconds. This is a 5G forecast given by Ericsson in November 2019 report. It is predicted that in 2020 around 84 million 5G smartphone subscribers will be there around the globe and by 2025 it is expected to reach over 2000 million subscribers. So what about the 5G in India? What is the present situation? The Telecom Regulatory Authority of India or the TRI aims to deploy 5G in India in 2020 but there are still many challenges. For example like the 3.5 gigahertz band seen globally as a 5G spectrum hasn't been auctioned in India yet. In any case the day we will be using 5G phones is not far behind. Thank you.